Looks like it's time to visit Bridget's hometown. Will there be baby pictures? I hope there are baby pictures. D&D &D Mites. <laughs> of days since each of you had your interlude and met Gary. Blade got you passage on a small ship to Bridget's home island of Sea Crash. And as you approach the island, you realize, at least everyone except Bridget realizes, how it got its name. See, due to the strange formation of the continent, the island of Sea Crash and the water that surrounds it actually sits in the center of a vast magically imbued basin. And because of that magic, this time of year, it fills with the last ice flows of winter that are carried over its edge by massive, ship-destroying, monster-carrying waves. The result is that ice flows hurtle down these giant waves towards the island, like giant surfboards made of frozen water smashing into each other with tremendous force until they're dashed to pieces against the docks of Sea Crash's coastline. As your boat approaches the island, you catch your first sight of Valkyr's Temple, which sits high and on a cliffside overlooking the water below. And as you draw closer to it, you are amazed at the size of the temple itself as it, if you'll pardon the pun, dwarfs the sailing village below. Even from your vessel, you can tell the structure is the size of a small orchard. And sitting atop of it, astride his divine vessel, is a giant marble statue of the pirate god himself, sorry, sailor god himself, Valkyr, who, at least according to Blade's intel, possesses the next piece of the Wand of Seven Parts that you need, the Circlet of Lightning. Circlet? Yeah, circlet it's like of a lightning. crown. It's a yeah, very it's like a small crown. circle. Yeah. A little circlet goes over. It's like a crown. So you're disembarking your ship, carrying your belongings onto the dock, when from behind you, you hear a voice that none of you recognize except for Bridget. Oh, no. Fidget. Fidget boulder stash. Approaching you is a young, tough-looking dwarven sailor who, Bridget, you know to be your childhood rival and brewmaster of the island of Sea Crash. Dang Griffin, named for patron Dang Griffin. Ooh, ooh. Fidget Balderstash, what are you doing here? I'd heard you'd gone off and become a pirate. Allegedly. Allegedly, I went off to be a pirate. I went off to be a fucking sailor. Okay. Did you end up a pirate, though? Allegedly. She did end up a pirate. She told us a bunch of pirate stories. Oh, the talks! What's that? Hello. I'm Dave. And he he obviously has never seen a dragonborn, so he, like, slowly starts to approach you, and he's, like, prodding at you. Please to don't touch me. You... Oh, uh, you've brought some kind of uh, cursed man to the island, have you, no, Fidget? No, just regular. I'm just... God no, just people who understand personal boundaries. What are you doing still rotting away on this little island? I don't think Dave understands personal boundaries. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out. I don't think any of us do. Whoa, you got a talking bird too. Aye. What have you got? Um, well, I'm still the brewmaster of the island, in case you're wondering. My cherry apple orchard wine still wins many awards on Sea Crash Fidget Boulder Stash. Oh, oh, uh, mm. You brew wine? Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's that a specialty it. here on the island. We, it's, a, it's, like, it's like a combination of wine and beer. We call it brine. Yeah, we call it That's brine. Unfortunate. Portmanteau. Do you want some? No. 
I'll take some. I mean, you know, I ain't, ain't going to look a gift horse He in the mouth. excitedly lunges into his bag without listening to your no, Dave, and pulls out a small <laughs> barrel that has purple writing on the side that says, Brian, I'll tap it, I'll tap it, but Fidget can't have any. Brian's not for pirates. And he starts to, like, put a little... Oh, I just realized as a dungeon master, I have no idea what they do to the barrel that makes the liquid come out. But if you guys could just imagine... Tap it. He, yeah, he taps you tap it. it. <laughs> he taps you, put it. A, you put a tap in it. I just it. want you to know, at this point, you could be like, oh, you hug the barrel until it starts to cry <laughs> from the emotional relief, and then the wine comes out, and I'd be like, yeah, of course. Emotional relief <laughs> okay. wine. I knew that. But yeah, he taps the wine and starts to pour tankards and hands, hands them out to all except for Bridget, and then he sort of looks guilty and abashed and pours a smaller tankard for Bridget. So, what do you think? Try some? I take it and I throw it overboard. I'll feed the feshes with it. Okay, now that's just a waste. Tastes like brine, man. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. And then he reaches into his bag and pulls out a different barrel and he goes, no, no, that was just brine. That was just seawater. I, I labeled these poorly. See, that, that's what I was talking about with the name. See, how how do you keep on winning this stupid contest if you continue to run your business like this? Also, why do you carry around um, barrels of brine, <laughs> like seawater? That's the real question. Why don't you carry around barrels of brine? Why are you defending him? I am the island's brewmaster. After all, I won my last barrel in the shattering, so... Maybe I know a thing or two that you don't. Do I remember what the shattering? So, Bridget, you do know what the shattering is. It is the only holiday here on the island of Sea Crash. You celebrate the breaking of the ice flows with a little competition, if you will. The shattering is part race, part battle royale, and it is a fight to the finish on blocks of ice at breakneck speed. And the prize as you know, is a thousand gold and an audience with Valkyr himself. Mm. When is the shattering? Is that holiday coming up soon? Shattering's tomorrow, like Fidget doesn't know. Have you come back to try and win the crown once and for all, Fidget? I want to play the game. <laughs> oh, you're going to join the shattering this year. Are you, lizard man? Okay, well, it's dragon and also, yes, I would like to play. How's your dexterity there, Dave? Is I have, uh, it's plus zero. It's neither good nor bad. It's normal. It's average. That's a weird dexterity. way for people to talk to each other. I, I, I would, that's how I would express my dexterity is n- neutrally. <laughs> it's like in out of 20, it would be like a 10. Oh, I guess. Do a backflip. Oddly specific. <laughs> do a backflip right now. Yeah, do a backflip. And don't, did it. Don't Nailed do a it. backflip. Uh, please roll an acrobatics check. I would like to do a passive skill backflip. <laughs> I I don't know if, if Dave the Dragon is saying that out loud. I would like Keith Enright to roll an acrobatics check if you would like to do a backflip. I would like to do a passive backflip without rolling how much. <laughs> you do and... a passive backflip? Like Eli does on stage. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Like there's get... passive there's passive yeah. perception, there's <laughs> passive wisdom, right? In there's I, what's my passive backflip ability? Let's you find out. You do not have it. Before Dave can do a backflip, before Dave can do a backflip, I do a backflip. I have plus five acrobatics. No, you absolutely do not do a backflip. <laughs> you got first of all, roll yeah. d20. 16, 16 plus five. Yeah, you do a sweet ass fucking backflip. Whoa, that bad did a backflip. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a backflip too. Go ahead, roll. A, a three plus two. <laughs> <laughs> you. Barely jump into the air and collapse and fart very <laughs> wetly on the docks. And Dang looks kind of horrified and he goes, Yeah, Fidget, I'm sure you're going to have a real good time at the Shattering. Anyway, see you tomorrow. I, th- I think Snedrick just had a Shattering. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do you call her Fidget? And he, he wanders off giggling to himself That's, with nope, his butt. Nope, I need more information. It's just a mean nickname. You know, you want to know why he calls me Fidget? Because he can't think of anything else that rhymes with my name. I would like to do a history check. <laughs> <laughs> history for, for a check? word that rhymes with, with Fidget? Do it. Yep. 
Roll, roll I think a history. Frigid is pretty I want close. you to roll a history check right now. That's very important. Twenty to me. plus three. Twenty. You rolled a natural I rolled twenty. A natural twenty, which means I'm never gonna roll it again. You think of the word Bridget, digit, <laughs> widget, um, and then I've got three and four syllable half Great. rhymes. For I you. wasted my <laughs> <'Cause> I <laughs> <never wrote some. laughs> nailed it. Uh, so what do you do? Where do you go? I. Uh, uh, I guess I show them around. Is this my hometown? This is your hometown. I guess I show them around my hometown. But as like as with any time you like go home and show people like, you know, now what you used to live like. I'm just like, ah, I'm like oh, slightly embarrassed about it. Yeah. Where do you take them? I don't know. To the breweries. All At right. least like my favorite brewery, which is obviously not fucking lards. Okay. So you guys. Spend the afternoon touring the breweries. You see the sights. Seacrest is actually sort of a nice little oceanside town. They've got great seafood. Um, it's sort of a mix of like ocean faring tourists and sailors who mostly make their living off of the ocean. And the, the entire population, except for people who obviously have immigrated, are mostly dwarven. Um, but everyone's pretty friendly. No one seems to recognize what Dave or Claw are, but they're friendly. Like they just <laughs> ask maybe inappropriate questions and stuff. But yeah, you spend the afternoon. Touring the breweries and stuff. I gotta say, y'all, I like this town. I pretty much shit myself earlier. Ain't nobody said a word. Do I still have my seawater? You do still have your seawater. And <laughs> as he says Just that, there's sure. two dwarves walking by, and one of them goes, Did you see that, Addy? That's the gentleman who tried to do a backflip this afternoon and shot his <laughs> pants. But we've all been there, haven't we, Emerald? <laughs> oh, of course, we've all been there, Harry. You roll an acrobatics check because you think it'll play well, and then you shit yourself on the docks of a new adventure. <laughs> we've all been there, haven't we? And they've sort of got them wander off. Can we fight those tourists? Or are they tourists or locals? They're locals. Can we fight those locals? Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I pour my seawater on them? Are you trying to start fights in my fucking hometown? I think we should fight those locals. They clearly just said a bunch of bullshit about Snedrick. <laughs> While you guys are talking, they are, they've turned the corner. They're gone. Let's run after them. Nope. <laughs> Hey, Eli, is this why I have the calm emotions spell now? Oh, please <laughs> fucking use that. I mean, one of the many reasons you're going to want to stuff that bunny into the rest of the party's <laughs> mouth on a regular basis. I forgot about the bunny. Oh, good. So, yeah, you've toured the breweries. You've sort of seen a little bit of the town. Those tourists are gone. Uh, there's Valkyr's Temple up on the hill, where, of course, Valkyr is. There's... I shite. I should go and meet him at some point. Huh? Yeah, let's go up there. Oh, fuck. All right. So you guys head to Valkyr's Temple. You reach the giant stone archway that leads into Valkyr's Temple. I'm going to turn around at this point and say, all right. Now, we've been all fun and games, but this is my god. So you can't say anything rude about him. Fuck your god. In we go. We, we just went up steps, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah, okay. I, I pre-dodge whatever um, you're about to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shove Dave, hopefully, down the steps. Do guys... I get behind Dave's legs. <laughs> 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 oh wait! Do if I if if he's helping me, do I get an advantage? Uh, do you actually want to shove Dave down the steps? <laughs> yes. Do you really have to ask if she really wants to? <laughs> Is he still being oh, a dick? I'm, we can spend this episode on PvP <laughs> combat, or you guys can finish going the rest of the way up the stairs. I I've got I've read the Patreon feedback. Our patrons are fine with either, so it's going to be fine no matter what we do. This could be the this could be the very special series finale where you all just end up fighting okay. to the death. I would like to do a backflip and completely avoid everything that's happening. To I would like to see that. Trip. I would also like to. Do I a backflip. would like to see that actually. I would like to shit myself. <laughs> also, <laughs> just. Just you guys flipping around each other, karate chopping and bouncing up <laughs> stuff, and Cedric standing perfectly still, just <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> filling his pants again. Doesn't even have an excuse this time. <laughs> okay, seven plus five for back. Are you? Yeah, you guys have an awesome fight. There's a really good. <laughs> Wait, Claude just did a backflip. Yeah. Why did what I just said I was going to do a backflip and you decided to just do a backflip too? Yep. Next to so me. He, yep. I think this is 
this is a valuable moment for us in your D&D education. D&D is not based on who says what they did while the other person did a thing. One person does a thing and then you react to it. You can't be like, but before you do that, I dodge out of the way. No, it's like Magic the Gathering. It's like an instant or an interrupt. Like I get it. It's first in, last out. <laughs> no, it, it's the first person who fucking rolls their die. Yep. Because you can't do it without rolling well, your I die. I was the first person to say that I was doing a backflip, and then Morgan was like, I'm doing a backflip, and he rolled, and he, apparently it went through. I don't know. I thought it was like, you know. Everyone, everyone, roll, roll a See d20 for me, please. Another one? We're not, we're all, it's not a backflip contest. I was avoiding I rolled a 19 this time. Gonna I'm going to redeem my fucking backflip <laughs> skills. <laughs> Cra- so crazy, so <laughs> tricky shits himself <laughs> and then does a, and does a back oh, perfect <laughs> backflip. <laughs> it just pinwheels out, you know. <laughs> hey, I want to do a front That's flip too, so I can be like a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> just. You're all getting ready to fight, but this Snedrick shitting himself front flick back grip thing distracts all of you, and you all feel much calmer and no longer want to fight each other. Fair <laughs> enough. Do you want to go up the rest of the stairs? I'm going to do a command spell. I want Bridget to do a backflip. I do my command spell, and I say backflip. <laughs> Roll. Do it. What do I have to beat? You, I, I, you have to... I speak a one-word command to a creature that I can see within range... That target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the you command. You got it. Wisdom saving throw. Natural 20. Natural fucking 20. Oh, I do not believe you. Nothing happens. She just, she just stares daggers at you. So again. <laughs> Actually, in fact, I flip you off and I just go up the stairs by myself. Whoa. I kind of just shrug at Dave like, what's she going to do? Are you all going with her? Sure. I feel like I'm not really dressed to go see a god right now. So, uh, I'm assuming you're all going with her. So, uh, you, I run up the stairs past and go in. <laughs> well, n- no one runs in because you reach the giant stone archway that leads into the temple, and there are actually two guards standing at the front, and they're wielding hammers that crackle with electric energy. And as you run and race and... Gently walk. Do you guys see that guy do the, the backflips and the front flips with the shit in his pants? Do you guys watch that whole thing? I've literally never seen anything like that in my whole life. I'll tell you. That was pretty fun for you guys. Um, I gotta tell you, we greet most people with halt. Who goes there? But um, right. No, I just wanted to ask you about that really quick because I feel like you must have reacted to that. Oh, uh, I saw moments it. ago. Little guy, are you okay? Yeah, I probably couldn't pull it off again, but I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Kind of on cloud. All right. <laughs> I just want you to know that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Anyways, halt. <laughs> Who goes there? Um, <laughs> hi. I, uh, I'm a cleric for you, uh, for Valkyr. Can I go see him? Um, I'm afraid not. I'm Dave. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, uh I, <laughs> they're, they're not. Claw. Hi. They're just we're, friends we're, who have we're followed all together. me here. We know each other. Yes. Mm. Um, I'm with her. And j- just because I'm absolutely 100% going to tell this story later, uh, what's the little guy's name? The backflip, front flip, shit himself guy. Snedrick Ferndangle at your service. Excellent. You're. I told them they shouldn't probably come. Oh, well, um, actually, it doesn't matter who comes because uh, nobody's allowed to see Valkyr in his temple except the champion of the shattering. I mean, if you're a cleric, you know that. If you want to see Valkyr, uh, either pray to him from a ship or be the last one standing at the competition tomorrow. And the way I hear it, praying from a ship hasn't been working that well lately. Wait, so is this, this is just Valkyr's temple. This isn't like, it's, it, there's not like other monks and shit there. There may be other monks inside. All you can tell is that the stone doors are closed and there are two guards standing outside those stone doors. So no, none of the public are allowed... To, to go talk to the other priests or anything nope, like that. Nobody's allowed in except the champion of the shattering. How do we how do we sign up for the shattering tour? Yeah, just show up tomorrow morning. Are you guys entering? We've never had foreigners in the shattering before. I really want to enter. Nice. What time tomorrow morning? Is there a um, backflip contest in it? Because I feel like we could kill that one. Yeah. We could talk about that. That's I feel like that would be at least something to consider. Or you could do the entertainments Wait. beforehand that that shit yourself <laughs> thing. That was pretty so you're standing there. 
talking to the guard. And as he says that, <laughs> the stone doors boom open. And a line of dwarves in light blue robes decorated with silver lightning bolts come out of the front of the temple past you. And as they pass by, suddenly an older male and an f- older female dwarf turn to you. And the male says, Bridget! Oh my goodness, it's her! Bridget? Yeah? It's your parents. Oh my god, hi. Hi. Oh good, I, 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 I am so, I'm so glad I got to see you. Uh, oh, Bridget! And your mom runs like full speed runs. There may be five, ten feet away. Runs and just grabs you in the biggest hug and starts to whirl around with you in the circle. As she's doing that, your dad starts to strip out of his robes. And Dave, Klaus, Nedrick, you notice that they are covered in all manner of strange dwarven instruments. Because while Bridget probably hasn't mentioned this to you, her parents aren't just people who live in Sea Crash. They are the official bards of Sea Crash. And speaking of which, once Bridget's mom is done hugging her, they both start tuning up their strange dwarven instruments as you talk to them. Mom and Dad, uh, did you have to get naked in order to do that? Well, you're home, aren't you, darling? Oh, I love you, love you, love you, love you so much. Who are your friends? Who are your friends? Hi, uh, these are... Buffo! Buffo, come over and say hi! And Buffo is sort of looking off into the middle distance. He's gotten distracted, and he wanders over and goes, Oh, hello, hello. You must be uh, little Bridget's friends. Well, welcome... Welcome to Sea Crash. Eli, I see what you're doing. <laughs> I would like to get naked to make everybody feel more comfortable. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Perfect. Roll to, darling, get, darling, roll to get naked. Wait, 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 Eli. Um, when you said they took off their robes, did they take off their outer robes or did they just take off all their clothing? Their outer robes. Okay, They're wearing thank goodness. normal clothing All right, clothing I understand yeah. what's going on now. Cool. Do it, do it, Sorry. Dave. <laughs> I still would like to get naked, not now to make everybody comfortable, just to make me comfortable. Wonderful. Good to know. Roll. Uh, roll for getting naked? <laughs> yeah, roll it. I, I rolled a what three. What is that? I don't know what that means. You, you actually put on a sweater by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I do a I do a backflip. Um, uh, Twenty <laughs> natural. You do the oh what a backflip that was. Uh, I I can't help but notice you're an Aracocra. Um, strange to see. Yes, uh, these are the the band of fools I am I am traveling with now. Oh, so so what brings you to Sea Crash? I assume you're here to witness the shattering, or well, let me see one. Two, three, four. Oh, there are four of you, so you actually have a, a shattering team. Bridget, you're not thinking of entering, are you? Well, I I assume that would be probably the best way to talk to Valkyrie, huh? I mean, I suppose that is one way to talk to him. Did you try praying yet? Ah, sure. I I you know we we I talk to him. A little every once in a while. I wouldn't necessarily. Well, you ain't yeah, convincing I, a damn yes, fool. Sure. Anyway, yeah. You go. You go right ahead. You go right ahead. Uh, uh, no, no. I understand. As as fellow worshippers of Valkyr, sometimes you need um, shall we say, a little space from our god. It's a it's a different divine relationship than most people are used to. Well, you'll stay the night, won't you? Yep. Oh, oh, absolutely. If we're oh, gonna do the, the thing see tomorrow. the night, Bofu, and and you must see the baby portraits, ones from her first shattering. <laughs> yes, come, 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 and they sort of merrily skip oh. down the hall in front of you towards the house of Boulderstash. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for listening to the show. Just coming in to say thank you for listening. And if you haven't given us a five-star review on iTunes yet, please do that. It lets even more people know about the show than already do. And new folks who don't know about our shows already can get in, find out about all of our podcasts, so it really does make a difference. You can follow us on social media at P-I-A-T pod. And you can sign up to support the show financially at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus, all spelled out. You get 
cool Patreon extras and a commercial free version of the show where, you know, you won't have to hear me talking about Squarespace or Blue Apron or whatever it is we end up advertising. So that's an advantage, uh, as well as all sorts of extra stuff. We're going to have friends come and play some short games with us. So all sorts of reasons to support the show, not the least of which is you want to give us your money because we give you something for free. Speaking of which, it's time to probably give you more of that thing. So thanks so much for listening to the show and I'll let you get back to it. So you get to the house boulder stash. You spend a pleasant evening with them. They play music and make a giant cauldron of stew. As the only full-time bards on Sea Crash, their house is big and comfortable. It's got rooms for everybody, and you're all sitting by the fire when Bridget's father, Bafo, says, So, um, what brings you all here to the island? Just, uh, joining the shattering, or...? Yeah, that's it. We just figured, uh, you know, there was four of us, and there was a shattering happening, so, uh, you know, might as well have some fun with it, right? Noah, do me a favor, roll a deception check. 18. Yeah, Ooh. he buys it. <laughs> oh. Well, it's it's nice to know that Bridget's brought some friends with her to uh, witness our most important day. And it's funny, Bridget, you never were a fan of a shattering as a girl, but I suppose a life on the sea will warm you to old traditions, eh? Well, I don't know. I stumbled across this band of backflip <laughs> fanatics and... Uh, I figured maybe we would make a team. Hey, do you know about... First of all, do I I know anything about the, the Thunder Circlet or whatever it is? No, you've never heard of it. I've never heard of it? Never heard all of right. it. Have you you heard anything about the um, the Thunder Circlet? Valkyr's Thunder Circlet? Um, the Thunder Circlet? It's like a little circle, like a crown. Yeah, it's like a crown. Uh, do you mean the circlet of lightning? Ah! I mean, you know that's... that's well, you, I mean, we live in a world of magic. You don't want to just be like, oh, I know well, what circlet you're no, talking fair. about, that's and then <laughs> all, you're facing down dragon Horamir, and you're like, oh, thunder circlet, this is actually kind of funny. Bam! Eaten by a dragon, you know yeah, what I'm no, saying? That's, no, that's fair. That's fair. Anyways. Fair. No, the, <laughs> the circlet of lightning is known to um, only the inner sanctum of... Valkyr, it is uh, it is held at the gauntlet of his sword, or at least mm. that's what they say. Okay. So hey, I'll tell you what. While we're just shooting the shit and eating stew here, uh, I, I guess I shouldn't use the term shooting the shit earlier. Today I was doing that for real. <laughs> One moment. Are you Snedrick Yeah, I'm the, I'm the shit spinner. That's me. You're the guy who did the shit and then the front flip and <laughs> the back flip earlier totally today. That was totally him. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, Kirli, Kirli, get in here. Oh, what is it, Bofu? This is uh, the, the gnome from earlier today who flipped and... Oh, flipped and flipped and shot himself. Oh, do you need me to clean your trousers for you, Didi? Yeah, I think you would appreciate that, darling. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do the rest of this one, Commando. That's fine. Uh, So why don't you, while we're sitting around chatting anyway, tell us a little more about this here shattering. We know it has something to do with brew wine and a battle royale and all that. Yes, uh, all the competitors are taken to the opening of the ice flow. It's it's just at the very top of the basin that surrounds this island. Surely you saw it. Uh, well, you start at the edge of the basin. You, the competitors are dropped in teams of four onto various ice flows, and the last team of four standing win and are granted an audience with Valkyr along with 1,000 gold pieces. Did you say last one standing? Last one standing, yes. So we try and knock other people off their ice blocks? That's exactly the game. Your Arakukra friend is uh, quite insightful. All right, so backflips really ain't going to come in very handy at all, huh? N no. <laughs> no, backflips will come in quite handy. Uh, a backflip at the right moment could mean the difference between victory and defeat in the shattering. I don't know about that. Although I will say you have some <laughs> stiff competition this year. Um, Bridget, I don't know if you saw, but Dang is back, and his two older brothers are on his team. Hmm. Who's the fourth team member? Oh, uh, nobody knows. Um, word <laughs> is that he's managed to get a kobold from somewhere to join him. A kobold? 
Yes, a uh, uh, Kobo. All right, so I'm going to signal to everybody that we should huddle up for just a second. Oh, you're huddling. All right, I'm going to get distracted by other things in my house. <laughs> Y'all thinking what I'm thinking? We Keely, Keely, where did I put my we, spectronomoscope? Uh... Where's Can my you spectronomoscope? Can be quiet while we huddle? Take. <laughs> I feel like if we just break uh, Dang's legs before this starts, we're pretty much shoe ins to win it, right? I'm not opposed. Done. Yeah. All right. Good, good okay. plan. Uh, where, where is I, he? Wait, I, I just need to check with my DM for a second. Wait, what are the has like? Are there any like? I don't know laws against breaking people's <laughs> legs. Yeah, laws against breaking people's legs. I mean, we're legs. definitely going to be risking a DQ. Yeah, yeah. No, there are laws in the world, Nancy Kerrigan. You know, I I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> It was the other one. Tanya, Tanya Harding. Tanya Harding. <laughs> there you go. You know, I feel as though we are so... As we've we've not had a great track record in um, doing stealthy things recently. No, that's uh, true. Everybody, pretty much I mean, everybody wrong. saw Most, both of them well, backflips I did. Neither of them was particularly flattering. <laughs> Cl- well, that's not necessarily stealthy. That's just dexterity. Yeah, especially because of the shit. That, that really caught the eye. I would not say it was stealthy. There was a lot of attention <laughs> drawn. Well... I don't know. I other than our one claw, uh, who tends to sneak past anything, um, I, I feel like maybe we should we should play this one on the straight and narrow. Or or uh, we could just send Claw boring. to break his legs. I think legs. we should uh, send Claw there, to go yeah, break the go. legs. Yes, agree. Mm, yep. I, agreed. I, claw, please don't. Claw, just go Jeff Galuli the shit out of that. <laughs> claw, please don't. You'll do that. You'll have to find a fourth person. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Shit, if we found a fourth person for our team, even if he got disqualified, we'd be fine. You'd He'd be just fine. be in jail somewhere. Mm-hmm. You seem very happy about being in jail somewhere. If we win. <laughs> yeah, we can ask for a pardon while we're getting that circling of lightning. I, I think this has gotten a little out All of right, hand. Fine. We'll do it um, your way. It's your hometown. You know these folks better than I do. Thank you, Snedrick. All I'm saying is if we're ever in the forest, we're breaking the fucking legs. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it I will go right along with whatever you want to do in the forest. So you spend the evening arguing whether or not uh, Tanya Harding <laughs> your competition. You you don't end up Tanya Harding your competition just because you spend all night talking about it. But you do take a long rest. You didn't fight anyone or do anything. But if you had spent a spell slot or done anything, I'm sorry, you, you know I what? did. Something. All... Don't tell me I'm I didn't say... do nothing. <laughs> You regained all your hit points and all your spell slots back from when you tried to fight each other outside the gates of Valkyr's Temple. Uh, And the next morning, you meet with the dozen or so other contestants, including, you see Dang and his much, much larger two older brothers, who he happens to have a kobold with him, on the cliffside at the back of the Temple of Valkyr. So you're standing there sort of sizing up the competition when a dwarf with slightly bluer bright blue robes than you've seen the others wearing, stands at the front of the group and addresses the dozen or so of you that are gathered. Good morning all, and welcome to this, the 423rd Shattering. Many of you know the rules, but since we have some visitors in our midst... You can go ahead and say it, bird folk. Bird folk he is meant fine a slur. To you that. heard he him like, right. delete a slur from his speech just now, right? God. You guys, uh, I think you're all considered not dwarves, so therefore visitors. Bingo, bango. In our midst, let me remind you. The party with the last member or members standing on the ice when you reach the rocks wins. Uh, we do have Cleric Anders and Hamage standing by... Both named after patrons, by the way. Standing by, but... Please, keep your attacks and spells non-lethal. Anyone who violates these rules will be instantly disqualified. And he takes a moment and pauses and sort of looks pointedly at your group because he overheard your conversation before. Any questions? Good. And so he finishes his speech and you hear a boom of thunder and two lines of lightning streak out of the back of the temple into the far wall of the basin. The area in between the two lines of lightning fills with blue light and you watch as the other dwarves and competitors 
and you march on a lightning bridge over the raging water below you onto a platform created by this same blue light, which hovers just feet above where the ice flows tip over the edge of the basin that surrounds Sea Crash. There is a moment of silence as all the non-contestants stand clear of the lightning bridge and wait for a wave to carry the next load of glaciers over the basin's edge. And just as they do, the head dwarf lowers his arms and the platform below you vanishes. You drop straight onto the glaciers below and the shattering has begun. Proceeding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2019. All rights reserved.